hi everyone you are welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation which is 2 raised to power k plus 2 raised to power 3k is equal to 10 so here we will try to find the value of k now here first of all we will use an exponential math property here in this term in the left hand side so here we will use this one exponential math property a raised to power m whole raised to power n can also be written as a raised to power m times n so using this exponential property here in the left hand side in this one term this equation will become 2 raised to power k plus 2 raised to power k whole raised to power 3 is equal to 10 now look to the left hand side here there is 2 raised to power k and there is also 2 raised to power k so here we will make a supposition let us suppose let this 2 raised to power k is equal to another variable let us suppose x so next we will replace 2 raised to power k in the left hand side with x so this equation will become x plus x q is equal to 10 and next we will move this thing to the left hand side and let us rearrange these terms this will become x cube plus x this will become minus 10 is equal to 0 and next we can write this minus 10 as x cube plus x minus 10 is same as minus 8 minus 2 is equal to 0 next we will move this negative 8 here near to x cube so this will become x cube minus 8 but 8 is same as 2 cube plus x minus 2 is equal to 0 now look at two, these two terms this is x cube minus 2 cube so this is a famous cubic identity a cube minus b cube so here we will use this one cubic identity a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square so using this cubic identity here in the first term this will become as x and b is 2 so this will become x minus 2 times x square plus 2x plus 2 square 2 square is 4 plus this x minus 2 x minus 2 is equal to 0 now further we will simplify this equation so this will become x minus 2 times x square plus 2x plus 4 plus now from here this x minus 2 is common so we will take x minus 2 common so only this will become x square plus 2x plus 4 and here only 1 will be left plus 1 is equal to 0 so further it will become x minus 2 times x square plus 2x 4 plus 1 is 5 is equal to 0 here the product of these two expression is 0 so here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0 so this will become x minus 2 will be 0 or x square plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 now here first we will solve this one equation so here we will use the quadratic formula because it cannot be solved by factorization method and to use the quadratic formula first we will write the values of a 
P and C. The value of A is the coefficient of x square. The value of B is the coefficient of x. And the value of C is this constant number. The quadratic formula is x is equal to minus P plus minus square root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. We need to substitute the values. So this will become minus the value of b is 2 plus minus square root of b square that is 2 square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a the value of a is 1 so further this will become minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 square is 4 minus 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2. So further it will become minus 2 plus minus root of 4 minus 20 is minus 16 divided by 2. So we will do further steps here. Our last equation is x is equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 16 divided by 2. Now next we will simplify this square root of negative 16. So this will become x is equal to minus 2 plus minus we can write square root of negative 16 as square root of 16 times minus 1 divided by 2. Now next we will spread this square root over 16 and negative 1. So this will become x is equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of 16 is 4 and square root of minus 1 is complex identity divided by 2. This is because square root of negative 1 is equal to complex identity i. And next we will take 2 common from the numerator. So this will become Taking two carbons, we take minus one plus minus two iota divided by two. We will cancel two with two. So the value of x will become x is equal to minus one plus minus two iota. Now here we will come back to our supposition that is x is equal to two raised to power k. So here we will replace x with two raised to power k is equal to minus 1 plus minus 2 iota now my dear took it to both sides here 2 raised to power k for any number for any value it is always a positive number and a real number but look it to the right hand side if we calculate this value so it is the negative value and a complex number and we know that a real number cannot be equal to a complex number so that's why here we will reject this one solution now we will solve only this one equation x minus 2 is equal to 0 here we will move this 2 to the right hand side so this will become x is equal to 2 now we will replace x with its value exponential value that is 2 raised to power k is equal to 2 the power of these two is 1. The bases are same, so we will compare the powers. So the powers are k is equal to 1. So k is equal to 1 is our answer and solution and the value of k. Now we will verify that k is equal to 1 is the exact and correct value of k or not. So we will verify it here. Our equation is 2 raised to power k plus 2 raised to power 3k is equal to 10. The value of k is 1. So 1 to raise to power 1. 2 raised to power 3 times 1 is equal to 10. 2 raised to power 1 is 2 plus 2 raised 3 times 1 is 3 and 2 raised to power 3 is 8. Is equal to 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. Is equal to 10. Since both sides are equal, so it means that k 
k is equal to 1 is the exact and correct value of k in this nice and interesting exponential equation and last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching